All right, so get this. You ever think about how watching porn like actually rewires your brain. The wild, right? Yeah, and we're not even just talking about the whole addiction thing here. Like this is this is your brain actually physically changing. Yeah. It's, it's all about this thing called neuroplasticity. Yeah, it's it's pretty mind blowing when you really think about it. It's like a constant uh, remodeling project happening up there. You know. Okay, so like, break it down for us. How does neuroplasticity work? So imagine your brain, right? And it's like a dense forest. Okay. Every time you learn something new or you do something repeatedly, you're kind of carving out a path in that forest. Right. The more you walk that path, the more defined it gets. Right. right. And that's basically what's happening in your brain with these neural pathways. Mm -hmm. The more you do something, the more established that pathway becomes. So the more I do something, the stronger those connections get. Exactly. And here's the thing. These pathways, they're really strengthened by stuff like pleasure. And if mm -hmm. you're really focused on it, Think about like when you get really absorbed in an activity, you're in that that flow state. Yeah. Your brain is going into overdrive. It's building these pathways. Yeah. You don't even realize it. So that's like that's why it feels so good, whether you're like, I don't know, playing a video game or, you know, in this case, uh, watching porn because your brain is like, yes, do that again. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. Right. Just as easily as it can build strong pathways for the good stuff, it can do it for the the not so good stuff. Yeah. And that includes, you know, too much porn. It's not just willpower. Like there are actual physical changes happening that make it hard to resist. OK, so we've got these pathways forming. But how does that actually happen? Like what's going on in my brain chemically? Well, it's pretty complex. Lots of chemicals, neurotransmitters. But one of the big ones is a protein called Delta Fosby. Delta Fosby. Yeah. OK, what's what's that doing? Think of it like the construction foreman for your brain. Okay. Every time you repeat something, something your brain likes, it shows up and starts laying down thicker cables. Okay. Thicker the cable, faster the signal, stronger the signal. And it basically becomes your brain's default pathway, even if it's not great for you in the long run. So let me see if I get this. So if I'm watching porn, you know, frequently, that can lead to, to a buildup of this Delta Fos B. Yeah. Which then, like, makes those connections in my brain, like... A super highway. Exactly. That is a great way to put it. It's like painting a super highway in your brain mm -hmm. and it gets more complicated. Then we got to factor in supernormal stimuli. Supernormal stimuli. Wait, is that, that's like those butterflies, right? Yeah. The ones that were tricked. Exactly. You got it. <laughs> those butterflies, though, they were onto something, right? Like <laughs> hardwired to look for a certain thing and then bam. Scientists mm -hmm. make it even better and the butterflies, they go crazy for the fake. Okay, but like I'm not a butterfly. So how does this apply to humans, like with the porn thing? Think about it. What do you usually see in porn? Ah, well. It's like the most extreme version of sex, right? Yeah, I guess so. Totally designed to like grab you and not let go, like those butterflies. Yeah. But instead of a bigger, brighter mate, it's, well, you get it. And our brains, they just eat that up, huh? Like we're wired for that pleasure, that reward. Totally. And remember that dopamine we were talking about before, yeah. that feel good stuff, huge part of this whole thing. Right. It's like the brain's reward system. And though. porn. It's like dopamine overload, especially with how much stuff is out there. Mm. So easy to get to. It can really mess with your brain, that constant, you know. You're saying it's like too much of a good thing. Kind of. Yeah. It's called dopamine hijack. Dopamine hijack. Okay. Now that sounds kind of serious. Basically, your brain gets used to all that dopamine from, well, you know, uh -huh. it starts to need that high, that excitement. And then. Regular stuff just doesn't cut it anymore. Wait, so it's not just that we're like becoming numb to the content, but our brains are expecting that level of excitement everywhere. Exactly. And that's a problem for relationships, for how you feel about yourself, for everything, really. OK, this is uh, a little depressing. Is there any good news here? Can we like undo this? Like what about those super highways in our brains? Can we like unpave them? The good news is yes. Our brains are amazing. They can rewire themselves after bad stuff, just like they can rewire themselves in good ways. So, like, it's not a life sentence. There's hope. Totally. It's like learning a new skill or breaking a bad habit takes time, takes effort, but it's totally possible. Okay, so where do we even start? This feels like a whole other conversation, honestly, maybe in part three after this break. All right, so we've talked about how porn can like really mess with our brains building those those super highways of uh desire right but the good news is we can change that right? exactly yeah it's like think of it like going to the gym but for your brain okay you train your body you can train your brain you know change what it finds rewarding brain gains 
So how do we do that? Remember how we talked about like pleasure and doing things over and over and like being focused? Yeah. Those are the ingredients yeah. for those pathways. So we just got to apply that to, you know, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff that makes you feel good in a healthy way and like be consistent. So instead of scrolling through, you know, whatever, find something else that, that makes you feel good. Yeah. And the more interesting it is, the better, honestly. If it like grabs your attention, if it makes you think, if it challenges you in a good way, your brain, it'll be like, ooh, this is good. Let's make this a thing. So give us some examples. Like what can we actually do? Well, it's going to be different for everyone. Right? Yeah. But some things that are always good, spending time with people you love, finding a hobby that you're really into, getting out in nature is great, or you know anything that gets you moving physically. Speaking of moving, there's like a ton of research now about exercise and how good it is for your brain. It's true. Exercise, it's like magic for your brain. Hmm. Releases all these good chemicals, helps you grow new brain cells. Wait, so not only can we like rewire the bad stuff, we can get new brain cells. Yeah, especially in this part of your brain, the hippocampus, really important for like learning and remembering things. That's awesome. Okay, so we've got like doing stuff we enjoy. We've got exercise. What else? Mindfulness this yeah. is a big one meditation, things like that, that can really strengthen the parts of your brain that help you focus, control your emotions, be more aware of yourself. So it's like mindfulness gives us a, a pause button, like, whoa, okay, I'm feeling this urge, but I don't have to like immediately act on it. Exactly. And the more you do it, the stronger those, those self-control pathways get. Mm. It's like mental muscle, you know, helps you when those temptations pop up. This is amazing. Okay. So to wrap things up, we've learned a lot. We have. We've learned that, yeah, porn can have a real impact on our brains, but it's not like game over. We can change things. We have the power to to take back control. It's true. You're not stuck. And the more you know about this stuff, the better choices you can make, right? Right. So if you only remember one thing from this whole deep dive, let it be this. You are in control. Your brain is incredible. It can change. It can grow. You can make choices that lead to a happier, healthier, more connected life. And on that note, think about this. What's one thing, one small thing that you can do today to start rewiring those connections and create the life you really want? Until next time, keep those brains buzzing.